so this number one welterweight contender has found his way back to a title fight. A lot of people didn't think he would get there, and he's made a career of proving that was wrong. You know, he carries a chip on his shoulder. You tell this man that he can't do something, right? He will make it a point to get that done. He said from the moment he walked out of the octagon last time and didn't win the belt, that I will be back. Then he smirked at him. Then he laughed. But his inner circle believed that it was only a matter of time before their guy got another chance, and when he got here, he'll get the job done. Now, some would argue he wasn't ready the first time around. I think that's probably a little bit too simplistic, but there's no denying he has rounded out his game, he has evolved, he's maximized the developmental time, and a lot of people believe he will have a new champion by that time. special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Nice jab there. Push kick there to the bottom. Oh, high kick. Oh, big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Frantic pace early on to this one. Do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Switch kick lands. Nice body shot. All right, inside the numbers now in terms of the head kicks landed, really his primary weapon thus far. And you gotta wonder at this point of the fight, how many more flush shots to the dome can his opponent actually take before he ends up twitching on the canvas? Oh, a huge block there. Just over three minutes to go. Both guys appear to land there. Nice right hand by the champ, yep. Oh, the Superman punch lands! Oh, was that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique when done the right way. Very fast leg kick lands for him. He's got that single collar tie. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice punch to the head. And he caught the kick. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. 
Just over two minutes now to go. Right on the button. Beautiful body kick. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Just out of range. Very fast jab lands for him. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Single leg takedown. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Blood dripping now from the lip. Just misses with the left hook. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice. Is next. Oh. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, big moment in that round. Of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly, it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon, and that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on the lip. How does he avoid taking too much damage back to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area, so we will continue to monitor that cut as this fight presses forward. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. <laughs> Missed with that attempt. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is throwing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, he's had a big move. The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, punches and punches. And forth we go. Oh, nice jab, nice spin. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, and you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bell. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, 
he seems lost to it. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you could tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. Oh, the kick landed. Well, he has clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Fournier. He got oh! Just over two minutes now to go in round two. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh my goodness, what a kick! So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, no. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Good work, guys. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Under a minute now to go. Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, nice kick. He's got the single collar time. Back and forth we go. Oh, Superman punches through. Fifteen seconds to go. Big body kick. Caught that kick there. Two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. He lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, good block there. Good stick. Just out of range with that left hook. Right hand lands flush. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Inches right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night in that landed. Oh, 
Never trade huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, side kick. Well done. Three minutes to go. Checks the leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Now they separate. Great body kick there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Straight punch lands. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Oh, back and forth we go. Unable to connect there. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I got to protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It's got to change something. Oh, huge elbow! He's wobbling now. Not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. 90 seconds to go. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he hurt him again. Straight right hand, no good. Well, that body kick was there earlier. Not there on that attempt. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Short time now in the round. See if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. Oh, yeah. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows. And he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target. And his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Fourth ahead. round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. Man, that cut has really opened up. He's hurt bad. to the head. Back 
to his feet. Oh, nice counter, yes. What a beautiful head kick landed. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called, are you? Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. Just misses with the jab there. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big clinch position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas the opponent out by hanging on his head. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, big punch land. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, at this point, he is black and blue all over. High-level damage, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Even though it's body damage, you see the ref call in the doctor. It's almost over. John, this fight's almost over. At any point now, they can stop it. The doctor steps into the octagon. I believe this fight's going to be called off. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on it. Big shot to the head. 90 seconds now to go in the round. My champ's starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Misses with the left hook. On point with that jab today. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. That one bears watching. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Sidekick, you see. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. 20 seconds left. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned oh, that is it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.